largemouth bass, America's fish. I've been fishing for bass since I was three years old. Largemouth are what got me hooked on fishing. Growing up, I was without a doubt the happiest kid in school to hear that dismissal bell ring on Friday afternoons because that meant I was going bass fishing in the morning with my dad. I love the smell of that sweet water and running through the lilies to get back to that secret spot. I just know, deep back in that creek, a biggin is just sitting there ready to eat what I'm throwing. And each cast I make gets me closer and closer to finding the one I'm looking for. Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. I haven't been out here. It's been it's been years, man. Yeah. It's been years. Last time I was out here, I was actually in a bass tournament, and uh, it's, it's man, it's probably been seven, eight years since there's this lake. That's so it, really? Yeah. Wow. So I'm stoked to get out here with you. This place has done a 180 since then. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it has. Changes, yeah. <laughs> All the spraying and everything else, especially now after the hurricane. Well, take yeah. us there, man. It's gonna yeah. be a good day. We're going to it. All right. You're the bass master. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go crush them. And eat right there. Did you see that, Tony? I saw that. Dude, so good to finally be fishing with you. We have talked about this for so long, bro. We've done photo shoots for people and different companies, but never, never got fun fish. I know. Did that one show with you back on uh, Conway That's Chain. right. You remember were that? the camera boat yeah. for uh, when I was fishing yeah. with my dad. Mm hmm. However many years ago that was. Yeah. You just about threw me off this boat. <laughs> Close, huh? All right, spot water. Right, I got a top water on. First thing in the morning, we've seen a few already busting on the surface. You're throwing that giant speed worm. Yeah. Big old hey, I'm, I'm not used to seeing or using big old soft plastics like that. Yeah, it's a big old thumper tail here. What is it about that larger plastic that they like out here? Well, what's nice about this thing is it matches the hatch so well. So we have needlefish out here in the lake, <clears throat> um, just like you do in the in the saltwater. That makes sense, so this, that needlefish is yeah, so big. And just the tail on this thing is, is kicking, just like those needlefish do. It's funny though, I always tell customers, I've never seen a purple one, but that's their favorite color. <laughs> The more you try and match the color of it, they won't eat it for whatever reason. But you get it's purple. that size profile they want. Yeah. Yeah, they're reacting to it. It is so pretty here. It's hard to believe that you know, we're here on Lake Toho, West Lake Toho. Disney World's not super far, but you look around and man, it feels like we're far away from major city. This is what's nice. We're definitely just far enough out of it, we're, we're in real Florida here. Get him, dude. Man, he wants to get up in that grass, too. Here he comes, here he comes. Uh, on that speed, bro. Yeah. Way to get us started. Nice work, dude. I got you, girl. Came up and just, dude, look how deep he took that, too. 
It's so dark being in this brown water. Yeah. Get that dark pigmentation under the cover. There we go. All right, number one. Got that thumper tail. All right, Working. you got the first one. You're buying lunch then. <laughs> I'll buy lunch. <laughs> Ooh, he wants to get back in there. All right, sweet. Got it. All right, buddy. See you later, gone. Here we go. Better fish hey. too. A little bit better than yours. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, well you're up there rigging. I'm fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Hey, we're going in the right direction too. Turn, huh? Got her. Yes, sir. Nice. There you go. That's what I'm talking cool. about. All right. Florida largemouth. <clears throat> Westlake Toho. You're liking the sunlight. Oh, there we go. It came right out. All right. Beautiful. Cool. This one's been hooked before. He came up and just whacked it. Yeah, he, well, he hit it once and didn't grab it. Like he Great. swiped at it. And then the second time he came up and thumped it. Huh. He took it and- He wanted it. He then. wanted it and he swam off with it immediately. Nice. That's the hardest part is the weight. Cause they'll crush it to kill it and yep. then they'll come back and eat it. Yep, and that's what he did. Yeah, yeah. another one on that thumper. All right. Thanks, bro. See ya. There we go. Yes, sir. Back to the roots, bro. All right. Bass fishing. Gotta love it, dude. And it's beautiful out here. We got away from all the people and finally, now we're finding some fish. And yeah. It doesn't get any prettier than where we're at right here. No. It does not. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Denko Flyers, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. You hit that right side, I'm gonna hit that left. Oh, he's on it. Ready? Got him. Better hey, fish. There we go. There we go. I fed this fish. I mean, as soon as it hit the water, he hit it. But I thought it was grass at first because it literally had just hit the water. Awesome. There we go. Every one of these fish has been dark. Super, yeah. super dark. Just tucked up into that vegetation. You can see how, how deep that hook is, too. Got that. Yeah, got that Pro X way in there. Nice. Got all of this water flowing. It just makes sense for them to be up on these little ambush points. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you. See you later. Go. Awesome. Hi, right, well, we are establishing a pattern, my friend. Every fish is a good fish. Some are bigger than others, and we're going to find that bigger one in here. It's sitting there waiting for us. Yeah. Yeah, I remember as a kid, my dad bought a flipping stick for us to use. We got these like one ounce jigs. Yeah. We'd go and punch mats and really? flip in around the lilies. Where at? We did that on remember? East Lake Toho. We okay. did that on the Butler on Conway. Yeah. A little hidden secret on Butler. Some punching. Flipping yeah. Stuff. We had fun doing that. You don't always get a ton of bites, but the quality's there. Here you go. See, just like that. Nice work. Just like that. Gotta make contact with it. Oh, it's the one. Oh, oh bro, that was the one we've been looking for. Oh. Come back up here, keep that casting. That was over five. That was over five. Hey. I don't care, <laughs> what I tell that you. was a chunk. Couldn't keep him down. Couldn't keep him down. Woo. All right, well, we know the big ones are here. That was it. 
Uh, what is it? There's one. Ooh, good. Oh, I got one too. The ball, yes, sir. One busted right behind mine. Is that a kick? No, I got a bass. I got a bass. Yeah. I got a bass and some oh. grass. Did you lose yours? Pull yeah. yours. Throw back over there. They were That's busting right. the surface. There's my biggest of the day. There you go. <laughs> Good job, brother. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm hooked up. Re it back on the dumb ball. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you bite your fish. I'll unhook mine. There we go. We're on our own now. There it is. There it is. Hey, that's all right. Quick release. <laughs> there we'll you take go. two halves equal holder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, chunky guy. Came up and just smashed that rattle trap. Love it, dude. Got it. Love it. All right. See you later, buddy. Go. Oh, there's one. There you go. There you go. Got one. Small one. It's a fish. It's a fish. Makes it feel like a real big fish with that current pulling. It inside. does. It does. Uh oh. This might not be a bass. This might not be the best. I think you got a gar? Maybe. Or a catfish? It's got a weird, yeah. Might be a catfish too. It's got a weird head shake to it. We're gonna find out here in a second. There's a leader. No, that's a bass. Stay down, stay down. There you go. That's the target species. That's it. Got him? Yep. Yeah, not bad fish either. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah. There you go, bro. <laughs> you keep one up in me some. Yeah, I know. That's fun, dude. I love it. Look at that. He choked, too. Yeah, we keep rolling. Find us some more spots. Yeah, we've got some chunker here. Heck yeah. All right. Safe. All right. Yes, sir. Love it. And now, the Conservation Challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. I recently had a conversation with the founder of the organization, Release Over 20. And I learned some incredible things about speckled sea trout. Three things I wanna share with you today. Number one, it takes four years for a speckled sea trout to reach 20 inches long. And if you started with a thousand sea trout, eight of those we're gonna reach that length of 20 inches, only eight out of a thousand. And at 20 inches, the majority of speckled sea trout at 20 inches are female, and they lay 20 million eggs in a spawning season. So when you consider keeping a fish, specifically a speckled sea trout, think about how much that's gonna affect your estuary and our future generations of anglers and think about how many potential fish you could catch in the future by releasing a 20 inch speckled sea trout. Visit release20.org to learn more about the science of releasing fish over 20 inches. Come on, get it. Got him that time. Got it. Took him three times. Did you see that? Three <laughs> times he swiped at that. Finally. That plug. He wanted it. Stay out of that grass. Stay out of that grass. Get him up. Get him up. There we go. There it is. Well, brother, I tell you what, man. We have had such a great day. We have uh, where we have made up in uh, catching a big one. We have caught in numbers. When we've got them, you hooked that one that was an absolute giant. I had one on, that yeah. bent the hook and spit it. Yeah. But you know what, bro? That's a day well, of fishing, though. That's a day of fishing. This has been a great, great day of fishing, friend. Awesome. Glad you enjoyed it. I know I am. I'm glad we finally got on the boat. Got to see the lower half of the semi-chain today. 
And it's been like they're cool. still busting behind us too. <laughs> what a day. Thank you, my friend, and thank you, Fish. Oh, oh Bro, dude. I told you <laughs> one more gas leak. <laughs> right, I just Rick. put my rod away. Come on. Come on. Always one more cast. Feel I like a good one? On. Does it feel like a good one? Bro, this is a good one. <laughs> She's right here, get the net ready. I got the net. I got the Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. I'm gonna lift her up, right into you, right into you, oh! right into you. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! It came yes! off, I mean, that was better, yeah. That is awesome. That is so sick. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that, my friend, is how you end uh, it. <laughs> that's awesome. Woo! Yes. Did you put it back on the spotlight? Yeah. Good, so we don't keep doing that. Yeah. Bro. Golly, Look at bro. That. Look at this. That could not have been any better. Look at this. What a chunk. Kissimmee chain toad right there, son. My man. I got my redemption. I lost one like this earlier. <laughs> we got her back. Heck yeah, dude. I told you I didn't care if you were the one that caught the big one. I'm glad uh, you got that fish after the one you lost right up there earlier today. Yeah. Oh, my love word. It. Well, brother, what a day. What a way to end it. day. I tell I you. Mean, we've been all over the place. We've been about 10 miles a day. That's all Had right. Had one of these on earlier. I mean, literally, like, all right, dude, I got one more cast. You're right, okay. Yeah, we were, <laughs> well, we were running it. I know, So literally. No, I I'm glad for the one that you lost earlier, I'm glad that you were the one that stuck it, man. Cool. Your redemption fish. Well awesome. done, my friend. Appreciate Congrats. it. Congrats. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. we'll get her back in the water. Yeah. Then we'll She's definitely. Done. Yeah. Now we'll go. <laughs> okay, now we can go. Alright. Praise that. God, that's the one we wanted. Look how fat she is. Alright. See if it goes. <laughs> My man! Yes, sir. Love awesome. It. Love it. Alright, well now we can go. Okay. Let's uh let's pack up and head home again. <laughs> Again. We just had to stop. We did so good here earlier. We just needed to make a couple of casts. I had already put my rod away. Know. Had a feeling. No, it lives What'd here. you say? One more cast? Yeah. <laughs> Glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> my life story. <laughs> and now, the Tackle Vox tip with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Icon Coolers. The five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. If you keep that in mind and you use the five Ps in anything and everything in your life, you will be prepared. And the same is true with fishing. Being organized is a key to success when you're on the water. I have fallen in love with this new series from Flambo. It's the Z-Rust. Now these particular tackle boxes, not only are, do they protect my lures from rusting because of that Z-Rust technology, but they're also waterproof, keeping everything, the elements out of my tackle boxes. You've spent a lot of money on your tackle, you don't want it to go bad. So let me show you my three favorite boxes. Currently I'm using, this is the 4000 series, this is the 4005, I use it to organize my hooks, I have my jig heads, some replacement treble hooks, my owner twist lock hooks in there. And again, waterproof with that Z-Rust technology. I'm out in the water, I know they're not going to rust. Additionally, where I like to keep my soft plastics and my popping corks is the 5000 series. It comes with individual pieces that you can create your trays, separate everything the way you'd like, also love, this one has been gold for me lately. This is the crank bank. Open it on up. You have all of these different trays. You pull out the tray. Again, this blue compartment here, this tray here, this is the Z-Rust technology. I have a jerk bait in there. And this one, I have some skitter walks, some topwater plugs. Also have when I go bass fishing, my X wraps for jerk baits. Keeps everything nice and neat and organized, and I don't have to worry about them getting all tangled together, the hooks getting all nasty, the hooks getting caught in a cup holder in the boat. Everything is organized, it's neat, it's ready to go when I need it. And I know 
exactly where it is. If you're in the market to being a better fisherman, if you want to be a more concise, efficient fisherman, angler out on the water, consider your preparation, consider your organization, and look at getting some of these flambeau tackle boxes. There's nothing like pushing away from the dock and listening to the sounds of the city dissolve into ospreys chirping and the wind blowing through the cypress trees. Even after 30 years, my mind and heart still race as the excitement builds with the thought of tugging on a quality largemouth bass. Regardless of size, it never fails that bass fishing brings both a rush and a peaceful calm each and every time I'm blessed with a chance to get out on the lake. I love catching fish. Inshore, offshore, freshwater, or salt, the tug has always been the drug. But when I think back to the days when I just had bass fishing, I'm quickly sent back to those wonderful memories fishing for bass with my family as a kid. And because of that, largemouth bass will always be special to me.